All right, you guys, welcome back to Dark Side Diesel. So today we got something special. We are gonna be removing the stock VGT off of our 07 and a half Ram. And we have a diesel power source S467.7 VGT that we're gonna be putting on. Now it's gonna go in the stock location with a DPS manifold, high flow manifold in the third gen location. And we are gonna be doing some dyno testing on it for spool up, power, and performance down the road so stay with us we're going to go ahead and do the factory vgt removal now All right, you guys, so we've got everything removed in the engine bay that we need to to get the turbo out, the stock VGT. We're gonna leave it bolted to the manifold when we pull it, should be easier that way. But we're at a stopping point, I need to drain the coolant because we have coolant line here to our VGT and we have coolant line down here off the block. So we gotta get the coolant drained and then with our DPS kit, we'll get Two coolant plugs, we'll be able to put one in the heater line here and one off the block, and we'll be able to refill, refill our coolant. But I got dual EGT probes, so we took that one out the manifold. This one we'll have to pull out when we drop the manifold out. It doesn't quite clear. And uh, yeah, oil drains disconnected, oil feed lines disconnected, wiring's disconnected, uh, hot side charge pipes disconnected, intake filters disconnected, back pressure line is disconnected and I don't think I'm miss missing anything we pulled the fender liner to gain access to our ram for our SMB intake and that's it right now and then we disconnect the, the exhaust pipe the down pipe from the turbo and that should be it so we'll drain some coolant and then we'll keep moving forward All right, you guys, so if you can see, that light might be a little too bright, but we got the head mating surface for the exhaust manifold all clean. Looking nice. So we are ready for the new turbo setup. That took us maybe about, I don't know, maybe an hour, maybe a little over to get the turbo completely out after draining the coolant and then cleaning up the head. So not too bad at all. All right, you guys, so we just got to take out our oil drain 
tube for our new one. We got some goodies here from DPS. We got a new oil drain tube. We got turbo manifold gasket, exhaust manifold gaskets. We got oil drain tube bolts, an adapter so you can still have your factory exhaust brake sensor. We got our VGT coolant plugs, turbo drain gasket. We got a bunch of nuts for our manifold studs. We got clamps, we got a new boot, we got an elbow. We might not have to use since I have an SMB intake and your breather, which I don't use. And then we got a really nice T4 foot DPS manifold, dual EGT ports, plug that we can remove and put in the adapter to run our exhaust brake or back pressure sensor from the factory and then we have a DPS 467.7 mil S400 series VGT so it's gonna be wicked diesel power source for hooking it up so we're gonna get this bad boy installed Alright you guys, so we got our S467.7 installed for DPS. You guys can see back there on the turbine side, it's got a VGT actuator that they designed in-house. We got a tube crossover from the housing to the, it's just like a wastegate that actuates the VGT. It's in the stock location, but it's got a high flow T4 manifold into a T4 
inlet on the turbine and we have a 67.7 compressor wheel and we go to our stock hot side pipe and do our charge air cooler we do have an upgraded one on this truck but we even have the exhaust back pressure sensor line came with an adapter from DPS the plumbing to the manifold so that you can still run that so that'll be nice we'll be able to see boost back pressure still and you could run EGR with this and everything if you wanted to so clean install but we'll do some videos of it next on spool up and driving see how much boost we make on some stock injectors and then we'll put it on the dash.